Two prominent cameos provide a layer of humor to Bullet Train, which was directed by David Leach from a script by Zach Olkiewicz. With help from a fantastic ensemble, Bullet Train's cameos raise the action movie's entertainment value while also linking them into the main plot. The cameos, in which Ryan Reynolds and Channing Tatum make brief appearances, turn out to be more significant than in most movies. The cast of the movie is filled with A-list stars, and several of them make significant cameo appearances. The first is Channing Tatum, who makes a few appearances in the movie. Ryan Reynolds makes a very brief yet significant cameo. At the beginning of Bullet Train, Sandra Bullock's handler Maria, Here's Brad Pitt's Ladybug complaining a lot about a man named Carver, who is probably another assassin he's worked with in the past. The illusion doesn't seem to be that significant until the movie's conclusion, when it is brought up once more. Reynolds portrays Mr. Carver, the killer of the wife of the White Death. Carver staged her demise to appear like a tragic vehicle accident. In an effort to exact retribution for the passing of his beloved wife, the White Death believes Ladybug to be Mr. Carver, who he wanted on the train. Carver was actually absent from work due to a stomach problem, so Ladybug was asked to fill in for him. A satisfying expression can be seen on Carver's face as he leaves the crime site near the end of the film. When compared to Brad Pitt's appearance in Deadpool 2, the actor's cameo is exceptionally entertaining. Reynolds may have had less than a minute of screen time and bullet train, but he's one of the most important characters in the story. While it's unclear what job Carver was working when he had the White Death's wife killed, he unintentionally set off a chain of events that led Ladybug and all the other characters to the bullet train. Carver's involvement in everything also led the White Death to concoct a revenge plot that would take out everyone involved directly or not in his wife's assassination. The assassin encounters Tatum's nameless character, a passenger who has been paid to don Ladybug's hat in order to deceive those seeking for him, as Ladybug understands he needs to divert Lemon and Tangerine. Tatum's cameo is funny, since the actor plays up the bewilderment of his character, who thinks Ladybug's favor has something to do with this thing, and is delighted about it. Tatum makes two appearances and, in contrast to Reynolds, has dialogue as he engages with Pitt's Ladybug and other characters. Tatum doesn't stay in Bullet Train for very long, though, as his part is just meant to be a good time. He isn't a main character, and so his moment to make an impact on the action film is brief, but ultimately satisfying. It's especially fun when considering Tatum and Pitt's previous, albeit short-lived, team up in The Lost City. Reynolds has been more well-known over the years after appearing in a variety of films, including The Proposal with Sandra Bullock and The Atom Project and Free Guy on Netflix. Reynolds is best known for portraying Deadpool, also known as the Merc with a Mouth, in the film. Tatum, meanwhile, has made a name for himself in Hollywood after playing in blockbusters like 21 Jump Street, The Hateful Eight, and Magic Mike. Considering the length of the movie, the actor's cameo performances in Bullet Train hardly registered on the audience's radar, but their cameos were anything but forgettable, which is what makes them so wonderful. Few actors get the chance, but Bullet Train ultimately succeeds in making it work.